Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2's. In this video, I'll be showing you or we'll be, we'll be discussing with you Wi Fi disconnecting randomly in Windows 11. Before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. Let's get started. So, if your Wi Fi here is randomly being disconnected from your Windows PC, well, there are a few things that you could try doing here to fix this problem. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to visit your device manager here. So, you want to go to the search bar here, just type in device manager, go ahead and open it up. And under device manager here, you want to look for the option here that says uh, network. So let's go just uh, basically look for this one network adapters here. Let's go and expand this one. And you want to look for your Wi Fi adapter. So usually it's going to be Realtek here. But if you don't have Realtek, you may see Intel as well. But just look for something that has or says Wi Fi in here. So usually this is mine. Now, what we need to do is you want to go and just try to click on it. And first, you want to make sure that it's fully updated. So you can go and try using update driver here, click on the search automatic for drivers online and just wait for it to update itself. But if this does not update your driver here, I would recommend you to visit the manufacturer website, whichever um, device you currently have right now. So typically you could just type in the name, you could go and just copy the name here, search it on Google and basically look for the manufacturer website and download the software or the driver directly from their website. Typically, once you've done that, that would solve your problem. But just in case, like for example, it's already fully updated, you already done this. Well, there are a few things that you could actually do here to uh, basically allow that your Wi-Fi here will not be affected by the power settings on your PC. So what you need to do is you want to go and right click on your driver or your Wi-Fi driver here. And you want to go and choose the properties option here. And under properties, you want to go and click on power management and the tabs here and you want to make sure that the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is actually turned off now once you have this turned off you go and click on ok and that will ensure that your pc will not turn off your wi-fi because sometimes like for example your laptop goes into power saver mode uh your laptop or your wi-fi adapter here here will also be affected so sometimes that happens so turning that off or turning that settings off allows your wi-fi to work even in those conditions so yeah so another thing that you may want to do here is you may want to change your DNS. Now, if power is not a problem here or the update is not a problem. So what you need to do is you want to go and uh, basically visit a uh, one page here. So first is you want to go and just type in the following. It's going to be view network connections. Go ahead and open it up. And in here, you want to go and look for your Wi-Fi connection. So for example, I have this one. So uh, let's just say this one, this is my uh, Wi-Fi here. You can go and right click on it, choose the option here for properties. And you want to go and just scroll down back here, look for IPv4, select this one, click on it, properties. Now in here, you want to go and just set this to the following value. So instead of using obtain DNS server address automatically here, use the use the following DNS server addresses. So you want to set this to Google DNS. So preferred DNS server here is going to be 8.8.8.8. Now altering DNS is going to be 8.8.4.4. Now, if you don't want to use Google DNS, you could go and use the alternative one. So it's going to be 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. And for the alternate DNS server, it's going to be 1.0.0.1. Now, this is for, for the cloud DNS. You can go and search this online if you're uh, not aware. But uh, prefer, uh, preferably, I, I like using Google DNS here. It makes my PC or my uh, Wi-Fi or main connectivity uh, run a lot faster. But yeah, so once you've done that, go and start your PC and see if that helps. Now, if none of this actually work, there might be some hardware problems or software problems uh, with your Wi-Fi here. So typically, you could just go to your search bar here, just type in troubleshoot and open up your troubleshooting settings. Now, under troubleshoot, you want to go ahead and look for your Wi-Fi or network troubleshooter. But if you don't see it, you can go and just click on other troubleshooters here. And again, just scroll down a bit here. You should see network and internet. As you can see, there's a lot of things that you can do as well in here if you're having problems in other areas as well. But yeah, go ahead and look for network and internet. Click on run here and just follow the on-screen steps in order for you to fix any problems that you may be having or encountering right now. But yeah, so once you have this running, go ahead and just follow the on-screen steps and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, by the way, you can go and just choose which uh, every device you're having problems, like for example, Realtek here, as you can see, it, it might say it's not connected or anything here. So yeah, it will uh, basically start the option here for you to start troubleshooting it. You can go and click on check network settings here, uh, do a lot of things here, start your PC, a lot more. And also it will troubleshoot itself, automatically fix things if uh, they need uh, further help. But that's about it. So if you found this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.